Hi everybody, today we're going to learn about different symbols you use when you're designing a house when you're creating the floor plan. The floor plan is when you're looking straight down into a house as if the roof has been taken off and you can see how all of the rooms are structured. So there's different symbols that are in place that we use to indicate different things. A wall is really simple. It's simply just a line in the direction the wall is in. Doors, they indicate the swing um, direction and the style. So a door can be opening, like it's, so you just leave the gap, the way it opens and then the way it swings. Or per perhaps it's an accordion style door. So you can indicate it, kind of looks like cat ears. Windows are going to be a wall with a rectangle in it to show where there is a window placed. Stairs can be in multiple directions, but they usually have an arrow indicating which direction is up. And so you can have just stairs this way. Banister aside and then stairs and then an arrow up. Stairs can make turns or also be spiral. So you can figure out those symbols on your own, just showing you the way that stairs can be as well. Spiral staircases take up very little space, so it's a good way to go up um, into like in a small house. Toilets, rectangle and circle. So this is the water tank and this is where, um, this is the toilet bowl area. A tub. Here and then wherever the faucet is, maybe you could probably add the drain as well if you wanted to. Um, an oven is just a square and that shows the burners on top. Fridge, square or rectangle, and then it shows the door opening here in any direction. A sink, depending on the style of sink, you can have like a kitchen sink that's partitioned off like that. The drains and of course where the faucet is, or you could do like kitchen or a bathroom sink that's maybe more oval and where that faucet is in the drain. A shower, similar to tub and sink, usually a square indicating here where it's going to be um, the lip because you have to have something to catch water, the drain, and then perhaps where the direction of the shower head. Table, it's a rectangle or square or circle, and then of course chairs. A more soft chair, like a sofa chair. I mean, like when you'd have in the living room is that could be more rounded. This is pretty square, but that's fine. And then a sofa would show where the cushions are. So these are the basic um, floor plan symbols and so hopefully these are helpful um, for you if you want to have a fun project and design your dream house. These will help you do that. Alright, thanks for drawing with me today. Bye!